everyone, Danny Dish here. Today we're going to learn how to do cool little fancy fills on the bass guitar. This is especially good for learning bassists. It's super fun, super easy, and when you're playing like a cool rock song or a punk song and you want to add like a cool little bass fill to kind of add some extra character to your playing, I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, so most bass players, you're going to notice when you're playing rock and roll or punk, the, the bread and butter of your bass playing is going to be on the E and the A strings, right? The top two strings. This is where most of your notes are going to be. Now, if you are playing, let's say, the fifth fret on the top E string. Let's just say that's like your one note. And you just keep playing this over and over again. I mean, it's kind of boring, right? I mean, it's cool if you can keep a hard, steady beat because that's your job as the bassist, don't you forget it. But if you want to add like a cool little fill, you can do like this. See, it sounds a little cooler and you could just throw those little trinkets in there every now and then to be like, ooh, that's cool. So what exactly am I doing? Well, if you're playing the E string, right, on that fifth fret, you're basically going to just do a, like what's considered a bar chord on a regular guitar, but you're just going to play those notes individually. So, if they're on the 5th fret on the 1st E string, you're going to go to the 2nd string, the A string, and you're going to go to the 7th fret. So literally, you just go to the next string, uh, 2 frets down, and then that is your other note that matches the other note, the, your first note. And then right below that, on the third string, or the D string, you play that seventh fret again. And what's cool is this rule applies for every single note that you play on the bass. So again, if you're gonna go to, let's say you go to the A string, the second string, and let's say I go to the, uh, the seventh fret, this one right here. If I just go down a string, so to the D string, and then I just go up two frets, go to the ninth fret, play this note. And then below that, you go to the G string, you play the note again on the ninth fret. See? It's a bar chord. Now, if you could play them all together, look how pretty it sounds. See? It's cool, but as a bassist, you can play them individually. So if you're just holding this note, see, you can add those two little notes in and any like pattern that you want, and it's gonna sound cool. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's how you add cool little fancy fills as a bass player. Drop your comments if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And I hope you got something cool out of this video. Hope you have a great one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.